welcome to a slightly different video today. Um, I haven't posted anything in a little while as I booked a very last minute trip to Italy. Um, so haven't been to any car boots for the last sort of fortnight. Um, all my sales, a bit, all my items have been taken off sort of on holiday mode on, on eBay. Um, so haven't got any of those kind of videos at the moment, but before I went away, I bid and won an auction on eBay um, for 25 vintage dresses. Um, so overall, the price, including postage, ended up at £75, um, which obviously works out as £3 a dress, which I'm really pleased with. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of show you. I had a very, very quick look um, when when they arrived just to kind of check there was 25 to check there wasn't any sort of massive issues with them because i've sort of bought a bundle off ebay before that said oh yeah really good quality and pretty much all of them had broken zips had holes in had this that and the other so i've had a very quick look but certainly not in any detail and that was like three weeks ago so i can't actually remember what i've got in here uh but i thought i'd show you anyway from what I can tell, there's a real mix of sizes and I have just kind of chucked these back in so they are very creased. <laughs> um, they arrived in a much nicer sort of folded way than I'm going to show you. But first up is this white and blue floral maxi dress. It's zip up at the back. Um, to me, this kind of looks like a night dress. So but i don't think it is but there's no labels or anything in this one but it's got really nice big buttons on the arms um and it's just got like a nice um floral like not embroidery but sort of 3d pattern there around the around the neckline uh, but yeah it's it's really well very night dressy really but hopefully maxi dresses always go well um so yeah i didn't notice sort of any issues with that one at all um so next up we have this one and again i did look at these sort of that three of these last night and again there's no label in this one so but the sizing i've sort of held it up it's a midi dress but it is quite a big size, I'd say. I would imagine maybe around 20 to 22 on that one. That is just by me looking at it, so I have no idea. But it's really nice, lightweight. It's ideal for summer, which is probably not the best time to be selling summer dresses with the weather we're having at the moment. But it's really, it's again, it's kind of like, um, it reminds me of like the Kath Kidston, I can never say it, Kath Kidston, um style pattern um so i might put that in the listing that it's that kind of style obviously it's not hers but it's that that kind of pattern and it's got like a a slit at the back so yeah it's really nice and casual just a nice day dress um so i quite like that one this one i'm very excited to sell because it's the exact kind of vintage dress that i like selling i think it's they sell well it's just a black and paisley pattern, but it's got a really nice like lace style neckline um, and it comes around the back as well. So it's short sleeved. I'm not sure what size this one is. I'm, in fact, actually no, this does have a label, but it's American sizes. So it says size seven. So I have no clue what a size seven is in modern um, clothing, but it's 100% um, cotton, which is nice, made in the USA by Carolina Colors. But is that just kind of prairie style dress with the um, with the sewn in belt there? Um, so yeah, I think this one should go. I'm gonna put this one up for quite high um, because I do think I kind of undersell some of the dresses that I've been selling. Uh, but yeah, it's button up um, and the, the lace is actually in really good condition. Like it's so easy to just get sort of 
catches or little skags on the lace but that's really nice and it's got massive shoulder pads as well so i'm really happy with that one i think that was one of the ones that when i was looking through her listings i was like oh that's gonna be a good seller so this one is um it's by ridella made in england and it says it's size 16 so that's a good starter although of course i'll check that that is in line with sort of modern sizes um this one the it does have need a bit of work the shoulder pads um have start have disintegrated which does happen they're really easy to cut out they've just got like i don't know if you can see but one loop there and one on the other side so i'll take the shoulder pads out um but yeah just this 80s dress with a collar um so size 16 it does actually look looks bigger than size 16 to me but i'll measure up and and see what what i think it's not my favorite out of the bundle but hopefully it should go um on that one once i've worked out the sizing this one's kind of cool it's not as bright as some of the others like i like selling the bright colors um colored dresses they tend to go better for me but this one is by Madison Avenue Collection. It says it's a size 8. I assume that's going to be an American size. There's a lot of these are American dresses or made in America. Um, but I'll need to see. This one's got a zip up at the belt. And it's a really nice peplum dress. So it's long sleeve, which I always like selling long sleeve skirt, uh, dresses. I think they go quite well. And really quite a big peplum skirt, actually. Um, and it's just got like a, it's a black and white rose design um i guess it could be it could be like quite a gothic one i suppose if somebody sort of gothed it up a little bit with like some boots and stuff so i might list that on there um but yeah it's um really cool peplum i'm really impressed like that's a really like usually the peplum ones that i've got the peplum skirt is not that long so that's kind of cool but yeah quite a different one that one um next up uh, again one that's going would have been lovely for summer that i've missed the boat on um the label's faded it just says size 18 uh polyester but this is a really cute um yellow and pink floral just a really casual tea dress um again maybe size 16 i'd potentially be leaning towards a bigger size on that one i'm not sure it's like a really nice blossom print which and i think this would have been really nice for just like a casual outdoor summer wedding dress like wedding guest dress i should say but yeah it's um i really like this one so i'll double check the sizing it's got elasticated waist um but yeah that should that should go i hope um then we have these are the ones now that i haven't looked at since they arrived so i kind of have no idea what these even are um uh, but this one is by illusion um so holding it up it's like a blue and red spotty dress it looks like a midi dress it's quite soft actually it's like a soft material um and it's long sleeved which again is good and it's got a really cool neckline on it so again it's kind of looks it's like a prairie look neckline all the buttons are there this one it does however have one of the hooks missing so um well it's got the hook but it's it's um just oh it's not gonna focus it's got the hook there but it's like come unstitched and the actual so it's got the loop there but the hook is missing on that one so it has got one on there and it has got the zip up so hopefully that won't put anybody off but we'll have to measure up on that one but i think that's really cool um i'm confident with that one next up is another really lovely summer one <laughs> great timing lorna and this one is a mini dress which is i don't think i've sold a or I don't think I've bought a vintage mini dress. Um, but it's really cute. It's a really nice purple floral design. Um, it's just like a summer garden. It's so nice. Um, and it's got long sleeves, which is cool. Um, it's got really massive pockets on the front. Um, and it's 
so that's like the pockets are really huge and um it's got really big buttons on the front there i'd say it's maybe perhaps it's 70s I'm not very good at dating vintage clothes, but I'd say with the pattern, potentially sat uh, 70s, but I just need to make sure that the collar is ironed um, or steamed because it is, looks really creased at the moment, but it's a really nice collar on it. So yeah, that's an going to be an interesting one to sell. Uh, oh, throwing things. This one's just kind of casual. Um, it looks quite small too, but it's just a just a really casual um stretchy red and sort of a light red top bit long sleeved um i guess this could be like quite a nice autumn dress looking at it it does look like it's got a little gap in the seam there um it doesn't look like it would affect it too much but obviously i'll list that um zipped in the back which works that's always good um so yeah kind of i'm not overly blown away by this one i'd say it looks around knee length maybe but potentially a good time if i market it as like an autumn dress which it kind of is um then fingers crossed i might get sort of some bites on that at the moment and as i said these are all three pound each which i think like i should be able to make profit on all of them um so that's exciting this one is really cool it's um a daymark dress which is just kind of a standard classic um vintage brand obviously 80s because the shoulder pads are like massive um but i really like this one it's casual sort of tea day dress really bright floral design and the buttons on it are super cool there they're just like the real big pearl effect buttons um but yeah i really like it mid-length I would imagine, nice sort of daisy print, well, I don't know if they're daisies, nice floral print anyway, um, don't know what size, it doesn't say a size, uh, oh, 18, so with, with it being that size, I always like selling sort of 18 to 20 clothes, I think this will go pretty quick for a, quite a good amount, um, I say these ones, I definitely, ha I can't even remember what these are in the slightest, but, this one is by Strelitz. No idea about that one. Um, and it's size 16, made in the UK. Um, and it looks... It's kind of like a like a ruched effect dress. But buttoned up by the looks... I'm literally seeing this like the same time as you guys are. But it's like a shirt dress. Um, midi, I'd say. Um, yeah, size 16. I'd, I'd potentially say it's bigger than a size 16, just holding it up, I'd say maybe it, it's an 18, but um, yeah, it's just kind of a plain sort of mint green, so it's not one that I normally would sort of pick up, because I try and go for the brighter pattern, so I don't really know what I'd get for that one, or what I'd try and list it for. This one, I remember getting this one, I don't think this is vintage, personally, but... It is a Jacques Vert dress, and I buy Jacques Vert dresses to resell, so I'm not not pleased with it. I don't think I think that's a modern Jacques Vert label. I don't think it's vintage, but it does have shoulder pads, so I think this is one that's modern that's made to look vintage. But I may be wrong. I I'm not an expert, so don't don't necessarily listen to me. But it's a really nice evening, sort of, again, wedding guest dress. Um, again, with the new wedding restrictions. Maybe not the best time to be selling it. But I can imagine this, like, sort of, when people list things as, like, wedding guest, evening, cruise. It's that kind of, just, like, kind of a formal dress. Um, I don't know what size this one is. Again, it looks like quite a bigger size. Um, it's lined, so I'm definitely going to... I think I'll be able to sell it like quite well. It's certainly the a, a dress that I would buy. Yeah, size eighteen. Um, but I'm just not convinced that it's that it's a vintage one. But I would buy it if I saw it at the car boot. Three quid, I'd still buy it for that. So I'm not unhappy with it. Um, what's this? <laughs> I have no clue. So this is by J R Seven Hundred, a division of John Richard which is size eight 
petite, 100% cotton. Um, again, I think they are made in the USA, so it'll be probably like a 12. But there's the label on that one. A lot of these American brands, like, I haven't seen the brands or the labels before. But this is cool, actually. This is just a nice stripy dress. So really nice casual day dress, actually. Massive shoulder pads again. The shoulder pads are huge. Um, short sleeve. Really nice colour, actually. Nice navy, like a deep navy colour. Um, and like a cream stripy. So, yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. I, yeah, nice little sort of front pockets. So, I'm quite happy with that one. Mid-length again, I'd say. Say probably around a 12. This one. This one is interesting. This one has no label, it would appear. <laughs> that's... I have no clue of brand or size or anything, so that'll be another fun measure up one. Um, but it's like, oh, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a, mid a midi dress. And it's, you can actually see the pattern a lot better on the camera than you can in real life because I've got a tiny little window there with a bit of sun coming through. But from here, it just looks black. So it's like a sheen, it's like a, oh, like a sheer dress with like that lovely pattern that you can see really well, but I can't. Um, but it's got like quite a nice, I don't know whether you can be able to see, a nice neckline there as well. Um, so yeah, it's three quarter length sleeves. Um, I don't really know what to say, but I'm gonna have to sort of look into the best way to describe that one, because I just don't know on that one at all. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is nice. This would have been, again, great for summer. But this feels like a cotton dress. Um, really nice pink Willow Ridge. This is by Polyester. Oh, Polyester and Cotton. Made in the USA. Yeah, it's like kind of... It's a bit like a, a Western kind of... I don't want to say it's not prairie, but it's like that kind of Western style. Um, I could kind of imagine this at like a little... Maybe like a cute barn dance or something but it's really nice and it would be really nice just as a random summer like occasion wear dress so it's got like a thick layer of pattern a floral pattern on the bottom again really needs a press but it's got an elasticated waist it does did i say it was an eight? Oh, it doesn't have a size on that's what i was looking on the label for a size but it doesn't oh 8p so perhaps that's eight petite um but it looks quite small but i think with the um elasticated waist um so i'll try it on yeah i really like that i think it's really cute actually um so again i don't know what i'm going to sell any of these for try i'll try and try and sell any of these for but whoa this wow this one's heavy um ah this was the other one that i saw on the listing that i thought yes this is gonna go well um look at that look at that so it's maxi length it has like the bottom bit of ribbon just needs a bit of a, a tidy up there i think it's like just frayed a little bit so i'll neaten that up but it's maxi again it's that western prairie americana style um zip up back it's actually unzipping when i'm holding it open so let's just do that back up um it looked like it did it have a hook on the, no it doesn't have a hook on the top which i feel like it should have a hook on the top because that zip is opening but we'll have a look at that but yeah short like poofy sleeves and the biggest full skirt you could imagine like it's huge it's really heavy dress i'm actually gonna have to weigh it and double check like the parcel sizes but it's super cool i really like it um well, I say I really like it. I really like it to sell. I don't think I'd wear it. Um, but again, Western Prairie barn dance kind of vibe to it. And those, I think, certainly have a market. Maybe a different market to the general vintage dresses. But I think they go really well. So I'm happy with that. Um, again, these are the ones that when I sort of saw the pictures of all the ones in the bundle, I was like, yes, this is the bundle of hers that I'm going to go for. Again, I'd say maxi dress, which is good. They go well. Black and white. Um, I'd, this has got to be another American one, I'd say. Although, no, it doesn't have labels again, I don't think. Unless there's any... It's very, like, it is a long skirt. So I think this one's quite nice and almost understated because, like, 
because the main dress is just black it's just the top bit and the arms that's got like the white effect on it again i will probably list this as a prairie style one just because of this neckline prairie style dresses do tend to go quite well for me um so i'll certainly just double check but yeah i really it's long sleeved um with it's really cool i haven't seen any with this design the sleeves are um oh that could be a problem the sleeves oh no i don't think that they looked elasticated but it wasn't elasticated yeah i think the elastic is just like it hasn't gone it's just gone like the opposite it just doesn't stretch anymore but that should be fine because there's still like enough armhole space it's not like it's going to cut off anyone's circulation so i'll list that obviously as an issue but that should go quite well um oh well there's more in here than i thought this one super cool again for summer i think this would go for even people who like don't like vintage dresses but it's by b daring maybe made in california again size seven what is size seven um but there's the label on that one um super cute little um red polka dot dress that should go like pretty quick um because i think people maybe maybe not in autumn actually but this is the kind of dress that i think people like buying it's kind of americana but even if you're not into vintage this is just kind of would suit a lot of people anyway so that's a, that's another one that when i was looking through i was like yes i like this bundle this one what is this one this is by tony todd um and this one's the American, and it's actually got, has it got the, um, it's got the Union label on it. So I can double check that one to date it as well. So, uh, what does it say? Does it say anything? No, the size one is, I think that's size seven again, maybe. Uh, but this one's just casual white. It's like a, like a cotton, like a linen kind of um, casual one. Not much to say about it, really. Mid-length yeah summer would have been ideal i missed the boat because i went to italy rather than listing it it's got like i find this quite a lot with linen but it's got like it's not nobles but you can see like the lines on it so i have to make sure i photograph it well so people aren't like disappointed with it like you can kind of see i've got a few linen clothes that have all gone like that so i don't think it's necessarily i think it's just like a wear and age thing isn't it but it's I don't necessarily see it as a problem, but it just needs mentioning. This one, Fashion Seal Shane, whoever the heck Shane is. Polyester cotton made in the US, um, size small. Um, what is this? What is this one? Oh, this is cool. It's like, um, it's like a dungaree dress. Oh, that's really cool. So it's got like the front pockets there, but it's got like the sides are cut out so yeah nice like peach salmon color um yeah that's really nice actually i don't know if, is it a dress or is it yeah it's got to be dungaree dress it's got and that's got like button up at the side and it's got a bit of elastic there so yeah that's really unusual actually um don't know the age on that one at all last few um this one which way up is it? That's the bottom. <laughs> it's got the best label ever. It's by Continentals, Spain, Paris, Italy, Birkitex overseas. So classic Birkitex there. It says size 14 average. There we go. But love the label. Um, I have got another dress a bit similar to this. that's just been on for months and it is not going. Oh, wow. This one. Look at how low the, the waist is. Well, not the waist, but that's like, that's really cool. I don't even know how to describe that. So it's like a a tunic dress then at the top. And then like, that's not even a drop waist. That's just like a mermaid kind of tail at the bottom. So like a fishtail dress. So yeah, that's, that's really interesting actually. I didn't realise that when I picked it out. So big buttons, sleeveless. So definitely different that one. Like I haven't seen anything like that one before. Oh, this would have been another lovely one for summer. Gah. But this one is by Young Miss Mortar. That doesn't sound right. 
Um, size 13. That doesn't help me. Um, I can't read the writing, but it's got another of the Union labels on, but it's like, it's the label's kind of faded, um, and it's not... Yeah, that doesn't help. Uh, you can kind of see the Union label there, so I will have a quick look at that one and see if I can work out, because I know the Union label's in different colours, kind of dated the dresses at different times, so... This one looks maxi length, again, kind of looks like a night dress to me, but maybe not. Floofy sleeves, like elasticated, with a really nice, like, pink, I say nice, a really <laughs> delicate pink uh, ribbon and lace style, like, ribbing there. Nice pattern, actually, to be fair, like, I like the pattern on it, it's quite cute, um, like, dainty pattern, which is would be lovely for summer but I'm not convinced that it's not a night dress but maybe it is maybe it isn't people can decide if they want to buy it and it looks like a night dress that's up to them so this one's got a belt attached which is cool ah St Michael my favorite uh so size 14 which is probably a modern 12 because St Michael's dresses have not kept their modern sizing um at all so again would have been perfect for summer but nice checkerboard like plaid design on that nice purples got the belt attached um button up shoulders short sleeves well yeah it's like very short like cap sleeve so it's like sleeveless but a little bit of shoulder is co your shoulders covered but i'll have to look at that but yeah uh made in the uk as per normal um, cotton and polyester so that's nice St Michael's got a market for sure so that should go um, is this the last one no nope, not quite what is Ooh. no one saw that all good oh this one looks long oh yeah so <laughs> this is strange when I got this one I I saw this because I was like what on earth is this but I'll show you the bottom bit. So it's a maxi dress, really nice green, like deep green floral, lovely dress. However, the top, someone has, the previous owner has stitched in a bra, but the back is low cut. So they've stitched the bra into the front because if they wore their own, it would be visible at the back. So it's, which is very clever as well, been well done. But I don't really want to sell a dress with, like, someone else's bra kind of sewn in. Um, and I think nowadays, like, you can get, like, the bras that just have, like, the cups at the front anyway. So I don't really think it's needed. But, yeah. Really nice dress um, with the green. It's got, like, a an extra kind of layer there. It's got, like, a slit at the back. So, yeah. Really nice maxi dress. Don't know what I'm going to sell that for, um, to be honest with you. And I think this is the last one. Yes, this is the last one. What is this one? This one doesn't have any extra bras randomly sewn in. Um, maxi dress, I'd say. Oh, maybe midi. No, maxi dress. It's got to be a maxi dress. It's like a purple and then kind of creamy salmon pink little floral design. Sleeveless. Um, although... Oh, no, that's fine. One of the buttons didn't look... One of the button hooks on the back didn't look like it's attached, but it is. Uh, really nice button-up back there with, like, the hooks. I thought that one was broken, but it's not, so... Yeah, unusual. Again, would have been ideal for summer. Um, nice kind of, like, frilled strap on that one. So, yeah. Again, I don't know what I'm going to sell this one for. I don't think there's any... There's no label at the top. I don't know if there's any label... In, at the bottom, probably not. I'm not having a lot of luck with labels today. Uh, no, so I'm going to have to get on good old di dimensions to check um, the measurements against what would be the modern sizes. But yeah, so overall, for £3 a dress, I'm really happy with that. I think there's a good combination of like nice patterns, the prairie style dresses that go well, the maxi dresses, 
um so yeah for th for three quid a dress and she she sent it really quickly and i completely didn't even think because i went on holiday like the day after it arrived so i don't know what i'd have done otherwise um but yeah certainly a good buy yeah really pleased and um hopefully you'll see some of these in some sold videos uh coming up fingers crossed